So you have a caval and you don't know how to make a sound with it. This is actually where most people give up because it can be quite discouraging to spend hours and hours trying to play your amazing new instrument and not be able to create a single sound with it. To be honest, it's pretty hard, but it's not that hard. Let me show you how it's done. What's very specific about the caval is that it has no wind way or channel at the mouth end, as in recorders or whistles. So what we need to do is shape our lips in the correct position and then direct the air against the tube in such a way that it produces a sound. And this correct position is called embouchure. Let's first start with the term embouchure. What does it mean? It's the shaping of the lips that a player applies to a mouthpiece of a wind instrument. Working on the embouchure takes time and getting a good sound out of the caval may take weeks of hard work. I know it's a bit disappointing when you first get your instrument and you cannot even make a sound. Don't worry, we'll get there soon. Training your lips takes some practice, but once you get used to it, it will seem very natural and become easy. I recommend starting with the head joint only because it would be a little easier for you. And besides, you won't need to worry about the holes, playing melodies just yet. Right now, we only need to focus on making the sound. The first thing you need to do is place the caval on your lips. The way we do this is just you put it above the upper lip and below the lower lip. Just as shown on the illustration here. Then simply shape your lips as if you're whistling or think of the sound OO. In order to make a good sound, you have to direct the airstream to go across the hole on the mouthpiece. When the airstream hits the outer edge of the hole, it splits in half. It creates vibration and this causes the sound. Hold the joint with the bottom end towards the right side and forming an angle of approximately 45 degrees. Then blow a little amount of air firmly and direct the stream straight. Part of the air needs to go into the pipe and the other part is obviously out of it. Don't try to blow too hard. It's not about how much air you exhale, it's about gaining the proper technique and finding the right position. A good example of the speed of air that you need is if you imagine a lit candle in front of you and adjust the speed of the air so that it's enough to make the flame flicker but not enough to blow out the candle. It looks very easy when I do it, but it actually took me a few days until I managed to make it work every time. And then a few months of really, really hard work to perfect the sound. If you're having trouble making a sound as clear as mine, you can play around with the angle a little. Keep in mind that small changes may affect the sound drastically. So be wary about that and try to stick with the instructions and keep changes to a minimum. Another great thing that you can try is adjusting the aperture. And that's the lip opening. Try making it smaller or larger, see if it changes anything and if it helps to get better results. Finding the right embouchure is quite subjective. So you need to find the jaw and lips position that makes the clearest sound for you. In my case, I don't really do anything with the jaw. I just keep it as natural as possible and that works for me perfectly fine. You'll actually feel it when the embouchure is correct and what you need to do then is just simply try to remember the position. <laughs> 